This is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Ji Su Ki. Here's what you need to know on this Tuesday. The head of the General Services Administration has declared President elect Joe Biden the apparent winner of the November 3rd election. In a letter to Biden, Administrator Emily Murphy says this clears the way for the start of the transition and allows him to coordinate with federal agencies for his takeover on January 20th. President Trump says he is not giving up his fight of the election results, but he will cooperate with the transition. Biden is expected to introduce some of his cabinet picks today. The president-elect unveiled several top foreign policy and national security selections yesterday, including the first woman to serve as national intelligence director and the first Latino to oversee the Department of Homeland Security. Details on who was chosen can be found on our website, newsnationnow.com. Here's what else we're watching today, and boy, it's a good one. President Trump is set to oversee the annual pardoning of the National Thanksgiving Turkey during a ceremony in the White House Rose Garden at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, those birds named Corn and Cobb traveled from Iowa. You can see them arriving for their five-star treatment. This video is so great at a Washington, D.C. hotel ahead of the ceremony. The coronavirus pandemic is being blamed for a rise in violent crime across the country. In New York, here you can see video, yet another instance of someone pushing a person in front of a subway train. The third such case in recent days. And in Los Angeles, a milestone for homicides with more than 300 people killed already this year. And in Chicago, authorities say shootings and killings are up more than 50 percent compared to last year. Experts tell News Nation the pandemic is a big part of the problem. People are out of work, stressed emotionally and financially. Jeopardy! will resume production in less than one week with Ken Jennings as the first in a series of interim guest hosts. This comes following the death of longtime host Alex Trebek earlier this month from pancreatic cancer. Ken Jennings holds the record for the longest winning streak on Jeopardy! with 74 wins. And trending this morning, we want to hear from you. We want you to weigh in on what you think is the best Christmas movie ever. Yes, ever. <laughs> News Nation has launched a Christmas bracket challenge. Visit newsnationnow.com slash movies to vote from 32 holiday classics. Each Monday, we'll update the bracket to reveal which film is moving on. Make your picks in round one and then share the survey with your family and friends. Can't wait to hear from you. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm G. Stick with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage. And by the way, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter yet, please do so.